The Fed buys and sells bonds because the price of them is directly related to the interest rate that impacts your economy. When prices go up, interest rates go down, bringing down the interest rate for things like cars, housing, and student loans, for example. But one component of aggregate demand behaves differently, net exports. As prices go up in our economy, it makes it harder for foreigners to buy goods and services, which means it's less likely that they'll exchange their currency for the US dollar. That means that as rates decrease and make things cheaper domestically for US buyers, foreigners have less of an incentive, both because the yield on bonds is lower, which gives them less of a return for investing in our economy, but also because the price of other goods in the economy have increased. Demand for the US dollar shifts to the left, reducing the equilibrium exchange rate in the economy. That means that as the Federal Reserve pushes cash into the economy, typically by buying bonds, there's a trade-off. The more they stimulate the domestic economy, the more likely they are to deter foreigners from buying both our bonds or goods and services.